Hello everyone, Andrew the Astronaut here and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. Today, we're going to celebrate reaching 100 subscribers. Well, right now I'm at 106 subscribers and the reason for that is this thing right here, a space shuttle. Now, a space shuttle is basically a Buran or a NASA style STS transport system. There go the sides, solid rocket boosters. And this is the reason why this video took so long to make, because space shuttles are incredibly hard to design and make, and I'm pr quite proud of myself being able to do this, because it was very difficult in designing it. This is the first of my space shuttle lineup in the save file, it's the Ranger, and it's gonna carry a secret payload. And that's the reason why I didn't show the build time lapse, because then it would reveal the secret payload that's inside. You can probably guess what it is. Now we're going to circularize and open up the cargo bay doors and show you the awesome payload that this is. Space shuttles, they have an amazing aesthetic in my opinion. They're one of my favorite craft, but I've just never had the dexterity to build it until now. And here we are, deploying the cargo bay doors. What could be inside this amazing space shuttle? And it isn't literal 100! being launched into space. Yeah, this was an actual 100 that I just made out of structural pieces and stuff. It was amazing. I love this. I think this is gonna stay in my save file orbit forever. This thing just so awesome how he hit, already hit the 100 subscriber mark. I originally started this channel thinking that, oh, maybe like five or six subscribers, but no, we're already at 100. So now we've released the 100 and Look at that. Look at that amazing shot right there. Um, I'm probably not going to use it for the thumbnail because then it will literally just reveal what this is. And you probably know what it is because you clicked on this video. We're going to rename it the 100 subscriber. 100 subscribers. And look at that. It's so cute. Um, I did use the offset tool in a weird way just to make it so that it doesn't look connected. We're just going to time warp a bit just to be in a better spot. And uh, you guys can take a screenshot of the video right now and make it your wallpaper or something. And yeah, that's the 100. It has a lot of batteries and a solar panel, so it's going to stay p powered up for a long time. And now we're going to switch back to the Ranger, and we're going to deorbit and land it back at the KSC. Now, this is my first time ever landing something near the KSC, especially a space plane. Like, I've had rockets that sometimes land right near the KSC before, but I've never landed a space shuttle. Uh, I've landed an SSTO quite close before, but I've never ever landed a space shuttle that close. Mostly because, like, I have a one jet engine on the Ranger just so that we can make sure that we can stay in a good enough speed so that we can control ourselves down the descent, and now I'm using those Cheetah engines as the deorbit engines. Now this isn't, this is why it's not a one-to-one -one copy of a NASA space shuttle, mostly because like, eh, it'd be quite boring. Wanted my own taste of a space shuttle. Here we are almost making our periapsis go down right there and uh, pause and pause again just to see that everything is okay. And we're gonna point prograde and we're gonna time warp all the way to when we hit the atmosphere. Now crazy thing is, the SpaceX Starship will be re-entering at a 90 degree altitude. Now that might seem like so, so much, or equally same to the space shuttle, but the space shuttle actually re-entered at around the 30 to 45 degree angle of attack. So not as high as Starship, which is pretty cool. Um, I had to pitch down quickly just so that I could get the re-entry profile right. I feel like I should have put Werner engines on the bottom as well for that nose cone, because those are extremely overpowered compared to the other ones. And I actually used the last remaining bits of fuel on those cheetahs to make sure our trajectory would hit the Kerbal Space Center peninsula. And it was quite hard to hit, mostly because that we launched into an inclined orbit. That's just the nature of this craft. It's very unstable. Uh, and it also doesn't pitch up that well in the subsonic regime of like, I don't know, 100 meters per second. And at this point, when I saw that the, that mountain range, I'm like, oh yes, this is going to be so easy. I'm going to land this thing super easily. But no, it's much harder. 
We're gonna have some crazy maneuvers. Uh, me, Val, and test pilot Kermit all passed out. I was just so excited. I just decided to launch like that. And, uh, ooh, that was, this is a not a good landing. I was like, oh, maybe, maybe can we make it to the KSC even with these cheetah engines? We have a jet engine, but that thing does like 0 0.2 TWR, so it's pretty bad. Um, Wondering if I could just land it in a field near the KSC and that would be fine. But no, apparently not, because this thing can't pitch up that well. I'm holding S, like, really hard, but it just isn't working. So, uh, yeah, we crashed. We're gonna reload a quick save, and we're still back in orbit, and we're gonna try that again. Mostly because, like, Scatera and the clouds stopped working for some reason? Uh... In the map view, it doesn't show, but then in the game, the normal UI view, it shows for some reason. And then just a few minutes later, it just starts to show up again. Um, not this time, because, well, I've just wondered, wow, Kerbin looks really weird without the amazing clouds from Scatter Up. Um, I know in the future, if I ever become as famous as other case YouTubers, everyone's just going to ask me what my visual mods are. Um, I'm literally just using the same setup as a bunch of other KSP YouTubers, like Scatterer, Astronomer's Visual Pack, Environmental Visual Enhancements, Waterfall, Kerbal Engineer Redux, stuff like that. And we're gonna re-enter again, this time hopefully getting to the KSC. I'm just gonna say it off the bat here, guys. I'm, I'm not a professional space shuttle flyer. I'm not Scott Kelly. Definitely not him. I cannot fly a shuttle this good. I originally put those front canards like that just so that nose would be easier to pitch up, but in fact, those Elevon 4s, they started pitching down when I clicked the S key. So I had to make sure that that didn't cause any significant damage. And this time we actually got substantially closer to the KSC. And even though those Cheetah engines don't do that much thrust, I decided to try for it anyway. I'm definitely not going to reactivate the vector engines because that, would, that wouldn't be so good because they're going to use up so much fuel and also they're offset so that it doesn't work that well. And I was like, oh, are we going to be able to make it to the KSC? We're so close. We're just a few hundred kilometers away. And um, then I realized, oh, yeah, I forgot this thing doesn't pitch up right and it's going to definitely miss this by a lot. Um, so I tried pulling up. We got cleared of that green hill, and I was like, yes, can we make it? Can we make it? And I was like, oh, no, 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 oh. So we reload a quick save. Um, it took much longer than what you're going to see in this take. I tried like 30 times, and I was like, you know what? That's it. I'm just deploying the parachutes right here and landed like a normal capsule. The front docking port will explode, just so that you know. But actually, guys... Uh, when we um, touched down, we didn't actually touch down like a rocket. Uh, we actually touched down, if you just close your eyes for a second, think about some sandwiches, and uh, for a few more seconds, we actually landed on the runway. And you guys, you guys just don't know, we actually landed on the runway. Uh, you probably heard something weird that made you think that I didn't land on the runway, but we did land on the runway. So, yeah. Apologies for that sentence there, but this, I was very proud of myself when I got a space shuttle to work and almost land, almost. Uh, this is also a joke of using Vessel Mover. Please don't take it seriously and as cheating. I just wanted, I just thought it might be funny because who doesn't like a little funny thing in a KSP video? And I really, for the next space shuttle version of the Ranger, this should it, there should be more powerful jet engines and air brakes. And I even tried to fire up the engines so they looked like I was coming in for a stop. And there we are. So thanks everyone for watching. I'm Andrew the Astronaut, signing off.